Hello guys, welcome back to the H5P The H of the Internet Protocol Yeah, whether you like it or not That's why today we want to focus on troubleshooting Well, I don't like this brush, let me change this so yeah troubleshooting uh how with tools we wanna describe uh toolkit oh no this is no you write toolkit right to what am i doing <laughs> kit right we wanna troubleshoot with a toolkit um I have another video explaining deeply about ping, how you can use ping in Windows, how you can troubleshoot layer 3, layer 4, uh, yeah, you also can use Telnet, uh, also another video about ping over iOS, which is deeply explained with Wireshark, that's that's lovely, lovely video, I will put it in the comment section below. Anyways, one of the toolkit today will cover trace route. The cosing route. I'm a kindergarten writer. I don't know. I feel so. I've been pushing myself hard to improve my 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 reading, but uh, whatever. So this is the cosing of ping. Let's put it in like here, like ping cosing. Why? Because ping uh, verified the reachability between two points, between you as a source and uh, some destination somewhere. Okay, if you if I if you want to verify whether I can reach it or not, you just ping. Okay, they also provided some other extra values around here, but um, yeah, that's why ping is a cosing. So, what treasure we offer? Treasure route will identify from one source to one destination. Let's use another color. Treasure route from one source to another destination. We will help. This tool will will help us to identify the route now let me let me create it differently so each dot blue dot uh, sorry red dot means a layer 3 hop okay so and then my route it's my trade route it's blue okay so what I already draw in red was some hops in layer 3 means routers so my blue line the trade route will verify my route from source to destination in this case jumps here whether from here jump to here or here to reach the destination so in this case I'm gonna imagine create a random path okay so how I'm gonna validate this route with the cosing of ping which is the trade route so okay once again it will help us to verify the route it will help us to trace the real route between one destination and one source basically easy and cool okay so again ping quick how ping works using CN ICMP remember ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol remember okay cool so thread route how thread route fulfill this task 
also using ICMP then well I'm, let me lay, let me create another whiteboard because um, yeah I don't want to be messy so how oh man so what I'm gonna type in here it's how trade route how trace uh, works right right so we said it's also using ICMP let's put uh, some bullets here it's also using ICMP this is quite important guys because uh, let me move back to the another whiteboard because in order the source in order to find the route towards the destination he will it will send some messages and at the same time well I mean uh, in the same process as soon as he's sending messages this guy will send replies to that messages okay obviously so the message will be sent the message the messages created by trade route will be created using UDP and will be answered by the other hubs by ICMP okay so yeah um, I've been thinking I was trying to uh, some remember trade route using UDP in a range of UDP range port 333353 three, 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 five, five, no, 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 it's four, three, four, yeah, two, three, three, five, three, four. So as you can see, there are a hundred numbers difference. That means this range is at least in iOS operating system okay Cisco use this range in the destination part so what I mean by this means that Cisco iOS only allows 100 hops this is the part number one of the treasure this is just theory the second part of the video I will explain you in details this with Wireshark. You will see with Wireshark we're going to execute some trade routes. We're going to have real Cisco devices. We're going to have real Wireshark output. You can even download the output. You can even download the, the diagrams we're going to use for the demonstration. That would be cool. But so far, um, keep in mind these values. Okay, so the UDP for generating packets so this is to generating and the guys the other hubs they will answer these packets with ICMP type 11 if you google ICMP type 11 this is a time to leave time time to leave exceeded error message time to leave message error okay let me clean up this a little bit yeah, super quick so yeah I did it so was type 11 now what I'm doing whoa, 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 whoa. Type 11. Um, <coughs> time to leave. Error message. Okay. Time to leave error message. I'm sorry guys, use, I messed up everything <clears throat> and um, the last 
message from the destination will reply with an ICMP error message with a different type. They will reply with a type uh, type 3 type 3 destination on reachable error message code 3 because within each type they have different codes that's crazy I know it's like type of subtypes of sub 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 like inception a dream of a dream so ICMP type 3 within type 3 they have different codes so code 3 code 3 it's related with uh, port and reachable so um, yeah why I have this why I'm moving this oh yeah Cisco iOS just supports 100 hubs yeah so type 3 code 3 means destination unreachable code 3 it's port unreachable so you have to have in mind the value of ICMP within trade route the, import, the, the value of type 11, the value of type 3, code 3 so I highly recommend you to get into details about this if you want to go beyond Cisco CCIE certification is getting crazy questions like you will see in the next video of some proofs you, how you can manipulate proofs even though your network is perfect they can even ask you hey dude just I don't want to lose any proof whatsoever just just try to solve the issue you see like what how come I can avoid about how can I avoid not losing proofs within a treasure out so there are even commands like that's really crazy and within MPLS is getting like different so well I don't want to get into further details but um, my point is that um, yeah this is basically what you need to fully understand type 3 type 11 UDP three three four three four two three three five three four and uh, yeah basically this so this is how trace route works well this is actually which protocols use trace route in order to work but uh, now we're gonna you know I love just uh, to justify everything I, I love to explain with facts so if we going back to our main whiteboard um, <clears throat> sorry guys I forgot to say that there is an RFC where they're explained basically about why I already said in, uh, about uh, trade route so I think it's RFC 1393 yeah and um, this is basically explaining what I already told you uh, regards of uh, protocols and uh, let's put in here yeah so let's check it out this let's open up a browser with uh, Firefox um, um, it's a reopen in H5P cool <laughs> um, We're gonna type RFC thirteen ninety three. So yeah, as you can see, it's even in my hist browser history. So trade route using IP in option. Guys, we're in two thousand and eighteen, um, and believe it or not, I don't know which year you're watching this video, because this will be eternal video forever. I kind of like I like this video phenomenon because um, you kind of like immortalize yourself anyways now in this moment that I'm talking is 2018 and we're learning a stuff was written in RFC 30, 30, uh, 1393 RFC in year in the year 1993 January 1993 so this is pretty old tool right and it's a causing of ping and it is amazing ping if we're going to control F and then I type uh, TTL this is the main thing of everything you, this is the only thing you have to read that's it 
it's uh, how it works trade route trade route today it means how it works the existing trade route operates by sending out a packet with a time to leave of one okay guys so at this point you need to understand what is time to leave if you don't understand that you're gonna kind of like it in the stock in here so yeah I highly recommend you to get back and understand TTL deeply so TTL trade route is using TTL at the very beginning of the first packet he's saying he's sending out a packet so I'm gonna translate this this packet means a malform UDP packet so let me oh, what I'm doing so I'm open a, a notepad and I'm copying this it's saying the existing trade route operate by sending let me format okay of a time to leave of one okay I'm gonna add in here a packet packet means malformed malformed UDP packet because that's the trip the existing trade route operates by sending out a malformed UDP packet you will see in the next video this answer that's why I already explained to you at the beginning that uh, going back to this whiteboard I will explain to you guys that um, where is this um, yeah trade route is sending UDP messages starting with these ports so this is uh, this is basically this information okay let's keep reading then the first hub then sends back an ICMP error message indicating that the packet could not be forwarded because the TTL expired easy so let's go by steps so I'm gonna add some stuff in here so he forwarded because of the TTL expired okay so let move to this okay let's read here the first hub then sends back an ICMP error message this ICMP error message means an ICMP type 11 t time to leave exceeding message time to leave exceeded I guess it's this I think I'm running wrong yeah that's it so yeah indicating that the packet could not could, could, couldn't be forwarded because of the TTL expiration obviously because it's one <laughs> right so yeah I'm gonna be graf uh, graphic with, with, with this so let's use number one so first step with uh, green first step with green okay he's sending a malformed packet with TTL of 1 then the second will be kind of brown this guy will answer let's keep reading the first cup which is this guy this is the first cup this send back a message ICMP type 11 you will see in Wireshark next video indicating that the packet will not be forwarded so then he will repeat the process then the, the step number three is kind of like a cycle adding TTL of one so you will see it here this process continues until the destination is reached whoops um, 
this process continue until the destination is reached well it's kind of old document so I might say this process continue until the destination this process continues adding one um, Mm, adding one TTL to the um, past after the past uh, malform packet was sent. every hop yeah that's is uh, better and easier this process is this con this process continues adding one TTL every hop until the destination is reached right so the third one let's put the third which is a cycle the third will be sent to whatever destination is what happened with my pen I have destination is here with TTL of 2 and then he will send back an ICMP error message then again sending TTL of 3 TTL of 4 so I will be more uh, graphic so it will be TTL of 1 TTL of 2 TTL of 3 TTL of 4 then TTL of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then TTL of 6 so then after he's sending TTL of 1 he's replying ICMP type 11 TTL of 2 replying TTL 3 replying TTL 4 replying TTL 5 replying TTL 6 now this guy is replying with another ICMP type that I already explained in the other whiteboard which is the TTL type 3 is not um, is not type 11 in this case is the last one it will send an ICMP type 3 so yeah I want to show you super quick with Windows here so um, I'm going to treasure out to DNS Google what I'm doing so trace to Google okay first cup what my computer is my what my computer is doing let me stop here what my computer is doing in sending a UDP malform packet and he's answering me with an ICMP error type message 11 so as soon as I get the first ICMP time error message I print it here and then I send the second one so this is how trade route printing based on the replies of the ICMP error messages so you see this is a time ICMP type 11 type 11 then type 11, type 11, so on and so forth till I get to the destination and in the destination I will get an ICMP type 3, code 3 well there is some internet uh, blocking here that uh, please don't get confused you will see more details in the next video but uh, my point is like from 1 to 12 it's 
ICMP received message type 11. The 13th was an ICMP type 3 code 3, where the guy is saying, okay, so I'm the destination, but I don't have that port reachable, so I send you an error message port unreachable. So that's how I complete my trace, basically. So that's uh, yeah, and high level explanation about trace route. Keep in mind to pay attention about ICMP type 11, type 3, UDP ports, understanding of the error codes, and check it out the RFC 1393 or 1393 to get to get more details in regard of what's going on with the trade route and the toolkit and then you will be able to master troubleshooting networking guys so I hope this video been informative for you